Hi friends, I am back to read chapter 14. Sometimes I told Gloria the story Miss Franny Black had just told me, or I imitated Otis tapping his pointy-toed boots and playing for all the animals, and that always made her laugh. And sometimes I made up a story and Gloria Dump would listen to it all the way through from beginning to end. She told me she, be she used to love reading stories, but she couldn't anymore because her eyes were so bad. Can't you get some really strong glasses, I asked her. Child, she said, they don't make glasses strong enough for these eyes. One day when the storytelling was done, I decided to tell Gloria that Otis was a criminal. I thought maybe I should tell an adult about it. And Gloria was the best adult I knew. Gloria, I said, mm-hmm, she said back, you know Otis? I don't know him, but I, I know what you tell me about him. Well, he's a criminal. He's been in jail. Do you think I should be afraid of him? What for? I don't know, for bad, for doing bad things, I guess, for being in jail. Child, she said, let me show you something. She got up out of her chair real slow and took hold of my arm. Let's the two of us walk all the way around this yard. Okay, I said. We walked and when Dixie followed right behind us. It was a huge yard and I had never been all the way back in it. When we got to a big old tree, we stopped. Look at this tree, Gloria said. I looked up. There were bottles hanging from just about every branch. There were whiskey bottles and beer bottles and wine bottles all tied on with a string. And some of them were clanking against each other and making a spooky kind of noise. Me and Win Dixie stood and stared at the tree and the hair on top of his head rose up a little and he growled deeply at his throat. Gloria Dump pointed, at her, cane, pointed her cane at the tree. What do you think about this tree? I said, I don't know, why are all those bottles on it? To keep the ghosts away, Gloria said. What ghost? The ghosts of all the things I've done wrong. I looked at all the bottles on the trees. You did that many things wrong, I asked her. Mm-hmm, said Gloria, more than that. But you're the nicest person I know, I told her. Don't mean I haven't done bad things, she said. There's whiskey bottles on there, I told her, and beer bottles. Child, said Gloria Dump, I know that. I'm the one who put them there. I'm the one who drank what was in them. My mama drank, I whispered. I know it, Gloria Dump said. The preacher says that sometimes she couldn't stop drinking. Mm-hmm, said Gloria again. That's the way it is for some folks. We start, We get started and we can't stop. Are you one of those people? Yes, ma'am, I am. But these days, I don't drink nothing stronger than coffee. Did the whiskey and beer and wine, did they make you do the bad things that are ghosts now? Some of them, said Gloria Dump. Some of them I would not I would have done anyway, with alcohol or without it, before I learned. Learned what? Learned what is the most important thing. What's that? I asked her. It's different for everyone, she said. You find out your own... You found out on your own, but in the, in the meantime, you got to remember, you can't always judge people by the things they've done. You have to judge them about what they're doing right now. You judge Otis by the pretty music he plays and how kind he is to those animals, because that's all you know about him right now. All right? Yes, ma'am, I said. And them Dewberry boys, you try not to judge them too harsh either. All right? All right, I said. All right, then, said Gloria Dump, and she turned and started walking away. When Dixie nudged me with his wet nose and wagged his tail. When he saw I wasn't going, he trotted after Gloria. I stayed where I was and studied the tree. I wondered if my mama, wherever she was, had a tree full of bottles. And I wonder if I was a ghost to her, the same way she sometimes seemed like a ghost to me. Chapter 15. All right, so Gloria taught Opal a really, really important lesson. Um, and I would like to know what you think, what lesson do you think Opal learned um, when she was looking at the tree and listening to what Gloria had to say? All right, comment what lesson Opal learned below or comment on our Google Classroom. Bye friends, see you tomorrow.